Trekkers, techers, geeks, and gamers, welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Elric, your host, and today we're going to be talking about how to test your video card, whether it be in your laptop, your low-end PC, or your high-end PC. Now, for many years, there's been a company out there called FutureMark, and they've had lots and lots of iterations of their 3D Mark software. They've had all kinds, Vantage, 11. Now today, we're taking a look at their latest iteration, which basically cuts all the fat off and just calls it 3D Mark. Now, now let's talk about actual video card testing. If you're only talking about testing your particular unit which at your home, this is very easily done. You can just download a bunch of games and a bunch of things out there, run fraps or whatever, and you can come to your own conclusions. If you are, however, planning on running some kind of test bed, that's much more work. You've got to go in, create a spreadsheet, have all the numbers, all the drivers written down. You got to run multi iterations of the testing at least three times. You got to balance all these scores and you pretty much have to have a test system dedicated to this. For testing laptops, it gets a lot more tricky than that. But if you want to test video cards, like most people do, this doesn't get that hard. You just got to basically set up a good test station and then use that test station for everything that you do and keep track of everything that you're doing. I would also, if you are able to, have one both based on AMD and Intel so you can compare the results. Because I know a lot of you guys are sending me emails going, hey, how do I start my own tech channel? What do I do to start my own tech channel? Well, to start your own tech channel, one of the very first things you're gonna have to do is develop the way you do your testing and then how you're gonna present your testing. It's really hard to do in video format. That's why lately I've been trying to really just do a lot more writing. But for you guys out there who wanna do it, this is the first thing you need to do. Develop yourself a solid, test system, keep it the same, keep track of everything that you're doing so that you can balance all your scores out. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at 3D Mark. They have three different tests that are on here and all these are for different things. They have a DirectX 11, a DirectX 10, and a DirectX 9 test. So with that said, let's jump in and let's talk about those before we get into testing. Starting off for the DirectX 9, they have iStorm. It's for mobile devices and entry-level PCs, basically because it's DirectX 9, which has been out for a few years. Next up, we see CloudGate. This is for notebook and home PCs, meaning it's basically for the latest notebooks and home PCs, not the highest end stuff. Last up, Firestrike. This is the DirectX 11 for high performance gaming PCs, and this is what we're gonna be running today. There are a lot of different ways that you can run 3D Mark. If you're just trying to compare to people out there, you can go ahead and run tests and try to maintain your scores. We run a custom test. Up here on top, you can see we click the custom tab. Then we go in here and we create the resolution. And then we run our test three times, balance those scores out. So with that said though, let's jump in and let's check out the four different tests that they have in Firestrike. DirectX 11 on 3D Mark.
so there you have it the latest 3d mark direct x11 fire strike that's right thing looks pretty cool um the thing i kind of tripped out is usually their older tests usually always had some kind of an accompanying music most of the time this one's just pretty quiet throughout the thing so we added our own little soundtrack there hope you guys dug that so this is basically what I would consider part one. We're going to show you a bunch of different tests as we go by in the next few weeks on running all the different tests on testing video cards. If you guys want, show me the comments below. I'll even show you how we go in and we run this stuff and we make all our score sheets and all that. It's kind of complicated and stuff, but if you know how to run Microsoft stuff, you'll be just fine. It's just an Excel sheet. You just got to bring it all out there and keep everything maintained. So let me see your comments below. Like usual, I hope that you guys like this video. If so, show me that video love and hit that like button. That's right. And I appreciate you guys being here. And like usual, if you're not subscribed, make sure you are so, so you don't miss anything going on here at Tech of Tomorrow.